Fox for an interview. Thank you very much, guys. Joined here by Kami after that win of Pain Gaming. First off, congratulations. Thank you. What a game. Um, we know you guys tend to play a little slower. Tell me when you guys said to yourself, listen, we have to just take this game home. This is our chance. Well, we knew we could win all of these games so far, and we were really underperforming, so we decided to change the play style because it wasn't working, so we need to try a new, something new, and it was accelerating, accelerating the game, and we did that, and it worked, so I'm really happy. Yeah, definitely. Uh, one big thing I noticed is Mylon in there. He went every time Mega Nar was up. Did you have to hold him back at some times? Because he was very explosive. We do. That's the problem with Mylon. <laughs> He's sometimes a little bit over-aggressive, but that's the style of the guy, and we love him because of it, and it works. Sometimes yeah. sometimes you just need to hold him a little back. But. Hold him back a little bit, but in this one it worked. You guys closed it out. I heard you mentioning, I think we could have beaten all the teams we've played already. You got a week now. I mean, this is a fantastic win for Pain it is, but how do you see this group evolving? There's been some crazy things happening. Yeah, I think anything can happen right now, and I'm not counting us off, because I think we can still get out of group. So uh, we'll just study, 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 and practice, and do our best on next week. Yeah, definitely. Uh, looking at your reaction, though, and I don't, uh, expect anything else because you guys are very explosive. You're very happy with this one. Tell me a little bit about coming from Brazil and representing your country here. I know those fans love you guys a lot, but that must bring a lot of pressure on you guys as well. Yeah, the pressure is huge because like we have some passionate fans and we can't disappoint them. So we're really <laughs> happy about this win because we really wanted it. We're literally, literally crying at the end because we wanted it so badly. And, and how do you reflect on your performance? Because uh, people say, oh, it's a Brazilian faker. Who, who would you describe yourself as? Oh, I'm not putting myself on the level of faker, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really get, glad that people think that, and thank you for that. Yeah, you're uh, Kami, and I think that's big enough. You put out some great performances. The best of luck in the rest of the group stage. Thank, thank you so much, Kami and Pain Gaming, with their first win at the World Championship. Take it away, guys. Thank you, Shox. A fantastic win for them, picking that up, making that group even more interesting. At this point, I don't really know what to think about Group. A. Great by them by recognizing that they need to switch things up and go back to something that worked for them when they qualified here. Pick something that is more aggressive, that can make plays on their own with the Twisted Fate. I expect it to be banned in the coming games for them, but at least they got a taste as to how they should be playing. Now, they should do it a lot faster, but they have the tools there. They know what they need to do to win. Yeah, they saw a lot of success with Double TP when they played the finals against Chaos Latin Gamers. And also, CLG banned the Twisted Fate against them, so they knew that this was coming previously and wasn't picked up here by Flash, Flash Wolves. Even though they banned Mord, Lulu, Elise, I feel like you could have left the Elise open. They ended up being a really, really good pick of the Gragas there for Sir T, basically winning them that last fight. He had an amazing performance. If you watch that fight over again, it's just stellar. The way he catches Maple was awesome to look at. It's like, I'm just super happy the Brazilian faker, maybe I should say Brazilian faker, Bjergsen, you know? <laughs> no, but I'm just happy. He won a game. <laughs> <laughs> he just no. stepped up, really happy he stepped up, but something that I need to talk about because I feel so passionate about it, I said it in the first day as well, the Darius. We've seen two teams use it properly, or three teams. It was Flash Wolves as well when they use it in the pole composition, in a composition where the enemy team has to walk into you. But when Darius gets kited, we see that Gnar in all of these games just does so much more. That Darius just gets kited, and it's frustrating to me. It's really, really frustrating. Yeah. All right. He, he, sorry. Oh, go ahead. No, was, no, go for it. I was about to touch on the Darius. He's not just a pick him in any circumstance. Mm. They're, like you were saying earlier in the week, very good strengths, but very prevalent weaknesses. You have to build a composition around him. And I think the poke comp is definitely something that he fits into. But you were saying he's kind of the new Maokai. Yeah. Basically, you pick him if you're not the strongest laner, you get a nice lane. You, even if you don't have a lot of gold, you still have a ton of base true damage. So I think that Darius, we're kind of seeing that more and more, but you still have to slot him into the right composition. You can't just pick him willy-nilly. Now, Crumbs, you, you mentioned that they can play these games much quicker. It was good for them to recognize that they needed to change things up in order to get the win. And Kami just said that they aren't counting themselves out of this group. They plan on studying and practicing very hard for this coming week. What specifically can you point to in their play that they could have cleaned up in order to close this out faster? So Mylon had a huge lead over stake. You know, when you're both top winners that build Black Cleaver, the first one to finish it will have a huge spike over the other. So for instance, in that time, Mylon had the Black Cleaver while Stake had just Kindle Gem and the Phage. That's a time where you tower die of the Diarius over and over and over. Gnar with his ultimate has too much hit points to actually be killed from one shot from Diarius. You poured in the Twisted Fate, 
level six every single time, you're gonna get kills over and over and over. They only did it one time when it was in the bottom lane. So do it faster, do it in the top lane, include your jungler as well. So make these global plays with the teleports, you're gonna see a lot more success. Something for them to consider in the coming week. Now throughout the day's competition, you guys at home were calling out the world-class plays. And when balls went big to secure C9 spot, a top group B, Blizzard main tweeted, come on and slam and welcome to the jam. Here's your world's big play of the day. Azir goes down as well, but the Tugs are coming through. A double kill for Boss, a triple kill for That's Boss. Nice. Holy cow, the Should whole guy. A kill. Kill. kill for Boss. That's right, he's been picking Darius. Kill Yasuo. Careful, careful. Yo, backline, backline. You win that. Yo, get him, get him. Let's nice. go. Yo, good shit. Let's go. Good shit. Oh, shit. No, you shit. got a Panta? Yo, yo, we win, we win, we win. Go, 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 go. We win, we win, we win, we win. What the hell? Yeah, they're all dead somehow. I don't even see how they died. Wait, that was yeah, not dead. I mean, with all of those asks what he was doing for practice here, he's saying, oh, it's all that Diamond 2 practice. I guarantee you he's gotten pentacles before in Diamond 2. It's really awesome to finally see Darius do something that's not just lose. I love Sneaky's reaction there. Yeah. Just completely lost. Like, yes, did we really that lost even happened. Yeah. You took my job. I'm supposed to pentakill them. What, yeah. what the hell, guys? I think also this specific game speaks to my point. Darius in a, like, in a like, kind of kite composition where the enemy team has to engage, does so much. Yep. Bam, pentakill, easy. Well, there you have it, evidence. <laughs> evidence <laughs> that Yamato easy. knows what he's talking about. <laughs> well, we're officially halfway through the 2015 World Championship group stage, so let's see how the teams are stacked up. In Group A, CLG are sharing the top spot with the Koo Tigers. Meanwhile, Brazil brought the pain to the Flash Wolves and are now tied for second place with one win each. Then Cloud9 finished Week 1 with a perfect 3-0 record, while Fnatic, HQ, and Invictus are tied two games back. Group C was off today, but in Group D, Origin knocked down KT Rolster to grab sole possession of first place 3-0 while TSN moved out of fourth with their win over LGD. Now the fight to advance to the quarterfinals in London, England continues next week as we settle the score in Group A, starting with Counter Logic Gaming versus Koo Tigers. Then it's Flash Wolves looking for a little rematch revenge when they square off against Pain Gaming. And we'll keep the action rolling until two teams stand above the rest. So gentlemen, as we move into days that are group specific, there's many more games for them to prepare for going into one day. But specifically look, looking at Group A, we talked a little bit about Payne's chances. How do we see the rest of this group shaking out as they're very tight together in this race? Yeah, I feel like with that win in Flash Wolves and Payne kind of being closer now, I think that Koo Tigers and CLG definitely look like they're becoming more and more favorites. Even though they were favorites originally to come out of this group, that seems like it's going to start solidifying itself. But we start off with CLG versus Flash, or CLG versus Koo Tigers as the first game of the day, and that's going to be a lot, especially if Koo take that win, because then they'll own tiebreaker over CLG. When we started the tournament, we were talking about Koo. Monty was mentioning how they're very clever with their draft, and with one draft at IEM, they were able to dismantle SK for the rest of the entire split, and now they're relegated. Now, I think that the match they had against CLG really cracked open what CLG is doing. Focus Poe Belter put these kind of team compositions that they were not able to deal with, and CLG struggled so much. They were so late into the mid lane party that I think that if teams adopt this style and target the bands, do the exact same thing that Koo did against them, CLG might be in some trouble. CLG got somewhat exposed today. Is that uh, opening for Flash Wolves or Pain to make their run out of groups, Yamato? Well, I think it's, uh, you got to give some credit to Koo Tiger's players. So I think it was a very, very high level of play in terms of how they use the composition and generally move around the map in, in terms of Gorilla and the jungler Hojin as well. And I think it's very hard to kind of mimic that because it's just like a level of quality of play. But yeah. the, the strategy, I agree. I agree completely. Well, maybe they can pull some lessons from the Koo Tigers. Make sure to mark your calendars because we'll be back here with all the action next Thursday, October 8th at 2 p.m. Central European time, 5 a.m. Pacific. Be sure to stick around because in just 15 minutes, Shox, Jat, and Kobe will be here for a brand new world tonight where they'll be talking about the day's biggest stories. Now for myself and the entire live broadcast team, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.